What's up guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch, and as you can see, I am not in the studio uh, today. And I don't know when the last review that I did in my house was, but it's been a long time. But you know, we went in the studio the other night, if you guys don't know, Media Glitch is a live TV show, we film it in the studio, uh, we have multiple cameras, we have a set, everything. We went in and we got like the blue screen of death on a lot of our systems and switcher was down and it just wasn't working out so we're actually on a little break what's going on man we're all here in the studio you can see us but guess what tell him michael stage manager what happened the blue screen of death the blue screen of death it happened computer shut down there it is on my phone oh yeah phone on phone so we can send it in for repairs. No TV show. No TV show, I'm sorry. Hey, sir. you're probably just gonna have to deal with that, right? It's dead, Jim. Yeah. All right. Hey, we got some. What's that? I thought, well, I thought, I thought someone was coming in. Oh. Yeah, All good. right, well, we'll see what's up. So we weren't able to, uh, so we weren't able to film anything that day. And so all of us are kind of going to review from our house or our studios because a lot of these guys have studios in their homes. I don't. I have this, but this is good enough, I guess. Uh, so I apologize that we're not in the studio. But I wanted to give you this review anyway because I was already late and getting it out there. And it's a PS4 game that was sent to me. And normally, I probably would never play a game like this. And the and being a reviewer, it's, it, it's interesting because you get game sent to you and, and sometimes you want to play like the most popular game out and you just don't have time because you got to review this game. And when I seen the, the, review, the game, I was just like, oh man, I don't know if I really want to get into it. But I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised by, by this game. And this PS4 game is called uh, Fallen Legion Sins of an Empire. Fallen Legion Sins of an Empire comes from us from Yummy Yummy Tummy Studios. I just <laughs> like to say that. Now, when you first start off, you only have one person. But by the time you get towards the end, you're going to have a whole entourage of people. Now, you follow Cecile in this game, Princess Cecile. Her father has passed away, and she is she has taken over the Empire, but there's a rebellion coming up. And by your side is a the book called The Grimoire. It's this talking, soul-seeking uh, book that has this ability to bring back old heroes or, or dead souls uh, to help you fight this this war for you. And so I'm going to handle this review kind of like I do live. I'm not going to cut. I'm just going to give you my what, what I liked about the game, what I didn't like about the game. And so basically after you um, eliminate you know one of your opponents, you can then bring them back to life. Now, uh, to help you at your aid is your 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 dad's right hand man, Maurice. I can't whistle very good, but that's from a song. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, dating myself. So uh, you have a basically you're running from fight to fight. That's the gist of the whole game. Nothing is going to change from that except the backgrounds of enemies. When you get your combos up, you can unleash very powerful. Uh, tax. So you have the camera meter down there at the bottom and once that fills up then you can unleash those big attacks Then you run to the next battle uh, Nothing like nothing amazingly different Your parry moves when you start Blocking those attacks is really what's going to determine if that combo is going to keep going and when you get bigger combos you can have more attacks and uh, Cecile kind of takes a place as a healer of the game she just sits back with the butt kind of healing people if you look at the top left corner you can see that she has she can bring people back to life she can heal and she can unleash a devastating attack which is what you are basically seeing here and uh, so the combat wise I was actually became very addicted now as you're going you're still like governing this empire so you have to make decisions and and the based on those decisions can uh, immediately affect the gameplay. You can either uh, get penalized when the morale declines from your empire, or you can get rewarded with gifts that could later help you out in your battles. So it's a very interesting system. Uh, the graphics, 
look like something out of VanillaWare. It's a very... Uh, I, I've never heard of the game company, so I have to give them mad props for making them look like they have a bigger budget than they did. Because the artwork, the level bosses, everything here is really good. The, the combat's good, the powers are good, the people you get. All of that stuff is, is really doing well. It's, everything's working here. When you're fighting level bosses and you're parrying things, you just seen that, that heavy uh, attack. To, to wipe out those bosses so that's something cool too that changes during the level boss fights I uh, and then after you do beat those you get graded and then you get uh, um, these rubies or gemstones now those gemstones can be applied you have three that you can basically equip that will change the stats of your your heroes or I think they're called exemplars it's the people that you bring back and you'll get quite a few different uh, of those guys those, and they will all have different stats so you gotta kinda pick and choose what you want if you want range someone that sits back and is firing off the guy in front of course is going to take the beating so you almost want someone like a bit more tankish or has you have a uh, gem that can take a lot of hits the map is large so you, you got there's a lot of stuff to do here now, the bad thing about this game, well, I don't know if it's they got the greatest parry system in the world, the most perfect, or the worst parry system, because you have to memorize the exact frame of animation to block these things. And this can make or break the game, man, like the battle anyway. Like you can be winning a battle and all of a sudden you don't block a few and you are done. And one thing I had is when there's a bigger guy enemy in front of a smaller guy you can't tell when he's swinging you don't know when he's how are you supposed to block that that's something that they really need to work out or should have worked out before because here's like you got this big rock golem guy I can't see what that dude behind him is doing well what am I, you know and I'm getting hit and and it's not oh my gosh sometimes it was so frustrating I wanted to throw my freaking controller through the dang TV but I can't because I need the TV to continue to do reviews so it's I had a very love-hate relationship with this game. I would never play this game normally. Um, and what you're seeing here is just extra stuff that you can open. It's a lot of reading stuff, but extra things that the game holds. But I did. I got addicted to the gameplay and trying to master it. Also, the PS4 or the PS Vita comes out for the PS Vita as well. That version, you see the other side. So you're telling the story or playing the story of the rebellion that's kind of going up against it. So I did not play that. They offered it to me. I just did not have time because we have so many reviews to get to. It is insanely hard to to get to all the reviews. So, but it was very a very interesting game, and I'd be like in in voice chat with friends, and they're all playing a game. They're like, "Come on in." I'm like, "No, I'm playing this game." And so I would just sit there and I'd play it, and they would hear me, man, like just like yelling at the TV, and they're like, "Why don't you turn it off?" I'm like, "Because I'm addicted." It's this weird. It's weird. It's 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 uh, not a bad game by any means. It's just man, I wish that parry system was either a little more forgiving or a little better. I'm not sure what which one it is. Uh, if you do play it, you gotta let me know what you think about that parry system. Is it broke or is it just perfect? Because I don't know which one it is. Because I do know that I mean, when you put a big guy in front of you and you can't see the guy behind him, that's a broken system. That's that I know is for sure broken. But other than that, it was uh, it was a very graphically it looked great. Uh, gameplay wise, it was pretty good. Characters were were I like the characters. I like the the the, um, the art style. I like the model. Like whoever came up with it, the concept, the character design was very good. The music actually was outstanding. There was one point where my wife was walking by and she's like, wow, "I really like that music." Like she was washing dishes, you know, and I'm in the living room playing it, and she's like. That's that's kind of catchy, and I was like, I know, right? So I'm just, I'll play some of that music for you guys right now.
that being said, Fallen Legion, Sins of an Empire, could I recommend it? Well, you know, I, 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 w I got addicted to it. I, I liked everything about it. That parry system really is upsetting. Um, so if you'd like a challenge, I guess I'd recommend it. Um, you know, I think it'd make a good a collection for like a Vita. That's the one thing. Okay. Like, especially for the PS Vita. This was one game. What's cool about this game is like you could just pick it up, play play a board, and then put it down. And, and it, you know, because a lot of these games, you know, like you got to get into it. And you're like, okay, what are the controls and stuff? I could pick this game up, not, not having played it in a week, and just play one game, you know. And it was really... Um, easy to fit into my review schedule because I could just play a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there because it lends itself to that. So when you think about it as a PS Vita game, that'd probably be a good game to have on that system because you could just uh, pick up and play, pause it, pick up and play and pause it. So I definitely recommend it for the, for the Vita, even though I never played that P Vita version, but that style of game is definitely good for it. So um, not a bad game at all. Uh, just Got to fix that system somehow. Separate those guys a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know how you do that. Put the big ones in the back. I guess that's it. So you know. Anyway, that's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget we're going to be on at Game On Expo this week. It's going to be amazing. You're not going to want to miss that. And thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know when I'm streaming, uh, when new episodes come out. And really appreciate your time. We love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. You've been great. Thank you. We'll see you again. Bye bye.